Uh, good evening, Reverend Clergy, Mayor de Blasio, Lieutenant Governor Hochul, Public Advocate James, Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito, Controller Stringer, my colleagues in office uh, from Staten Island, both current and past, distinguished guests, and my fellow Staten Islanders. Most importantly, to the families of those precious souls we lost on and resulting from the tragic events of September 11, 2001, thank you for being with us tonight and for allowing us to be with you to share the burden of this very difficult day. Since 2004, we have come to this special and unique place with a solemn and singular purpose, to remember and honor those taken from us, our friends, our neighbors, and tragically, your family members. With this memorial service, we've tried to, in the words of my predecessor and the driving force behind this memorial, Jim Arrow, we've tried to offer you somehow, some way, a measure of comfort. We earnestly endeavored to do that again tonight. My staff and I think about this event often during the year. We discuss and debate it because we desperately want it to be worthy of your family. We want it to be respectful. We want it to be appropriate. And just maybe, by demonstrating how many Staten Islanders and New Yorkers continue to stand by you, it can be of some comfort. In the backdrop and the distance behind me, we can see the reflection of the site that has forever changed the trajectory of so many lives. More immediately behind me is this magnificent memorial postcards so brilliantly crafted by Masa Sono, who captures our deep hurt and loss, but also, I hope, serves to forever mind you and the world that those lost will always be remembered. It's difficult to comprehend that it's 14 years. It's even hard for me to believe that it's been a year since I anxiously first stood before you and plaintively tried to impart to you the various emotions that everyone on this day has had and to find the proper words to allow us to figuratively wrap our arms around you and pull you close and maybe for an instant share some of the burden you carry. Since we were last here, I got married. Thank you. I mention this because uh, maintaining my bachelorhood until age 48 defied statistical probability. Uh, and if you've met my wonderful wife, Kim, you would say waiting so long to marry had defied common sense. But waiting as long as I did came with a heavy price of my wedding being too late for my dad to be there to experience it. I think he would have liked it. Knowing Poppy probably would have had a comment about the food or the music or why the ceremony was in the sand on the beach, but he would have loved it. The funny thing is that what he would have said had he been there, I heard in my head anyway. His voice, his presence was in me. That wedding experience reaffirmed for me that he remains in me and with me always. With every seemingly intractable battle at Borough Hall, I hear him say, dig deeper, work harder. Every time I do a bad impersonation of a handyman and try to fix something around the little house that Kim and I have, grabbing the wrong end of the wrench, I know he's over my sh shoulder shaking his head in disbelief. And when I'm done visiting my mom and I'm leaving the house, I hear him say, good, make sure you always check up on your mother. That wedding experience got me thinking about all of that, and it eventually got me thinking about this day and this event. In each wedding, in each graduation, in each new birth, in each new job, promotion, first dance recital, little league game that your families have experienced since that day 14 years ago, the ones you have lost have been there with you and their legacies live on. So in addition to remembering and honoring your loved ones tonight, we also want to delicately and respectfully try to reassure you that those lost live on through the growing histories of your family. Lastly, I want to extend a particular thank you to those Staten Islanders who may not have lost immediate family members or friends, but who chose to be here tonight. Thank you for understanding that the importance of your presence and for sharing with us a couple hours and some tears. As the song goes, we're one, but we're not the same. We get to carry each other. Thank you for helping carry these families tonight. And speaking with, of songs, I close with an old Bob Dylan lyric. Strange how people who suffer together have stronger connections than most people who are most content. We have that connection in this community. We have that connection with you. It was thrust upon all of us. None of us wanted it. You certainly did not deserve it. But that connection is, in fact, ours. So we will always try to honor it 
and nurture it, and we certainly will always remember it. And hopefully we're doing all of that tonight. May God bless those wonderful individuals we lost, and may God bless each and every one of you.